I'm doing great, Rich. Uh, I, I had one of those moments today where I was like, it, and so it begins, uh, working on uh, my first mock draft of the year, uh, which I will turn in. So that'll be up, I think, later in the week. But like, I just spent my morning with like an hour looking at the Chargers going, do I want Roma Dunze? But I don't know, Brock Bowers. I know, do you take a tight end that early? And then, you know, gosh, I could take Terry and Arnold, who I think is the best corner. I mean, and here we go. Well, it's off. I guess it depends who the head coach is going to be there. So who does Jim Harbaugh want? Is that the way I should say it? Should I phrase it that way, Daniel? Of that, of that hour process, I would say 20 minutes was spent trying to climb into the head of Jim Harbaugh, which, as you know, is a dangerous exercise. Right. Um, and, and I just I, I, I don't know. I, I'm uh, I'm thinking it, it feels like I don't want to say I, I don't want to use the word inevitable. That's too strong. But doesn't it just feel like there's is there a more perfect pairing? I mean, he's got history with the organization there. Um, it's, it's, he's got the quarterback in place. He can get in there. I think even though they have some salary cap, uh, decisions to make, I think they could get that thing up and running pretty quick. He gets back to the West coast. He's, you know, mission accomplished. The banner is flying in Ann Arbor. It just, it feels like this is a, a really good match here. Unless he wants to go back to Michigan and, and, you know, rumors flying everywhere about what he really wants. Nobody knows, as you said about climbing in his head, but um, not to turn you into an information man. You're more of a, again, an all 22 and obviously a talent evaluator, but you, you, know, you hear anything about coming out of the building about the, the conversation they had with Harbaugh goes well, what do you, anything that you're hearing on that front? No, I, I haven't heard anything since he, uh, he had his conversation. Now, one of the things um, I had seen that was put out there, which was, you know, well, obviously he's going to want to be the highest paid guy and he's going to want full control, you know, over everything. And I talked to people, you know, that are tight with Harbaugh that said that's a mischaracterization. Like he, he's going to want somebody that he trusts, um, but he's not going to be somebody who's going to be, you know, making every decision and, 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 uh, and wanting to secure that power. He just wants somebody to partner with that he really likes and trusts. Okay, and so the Chargers are still going about their business, right? Like Dan Quinn, I hear, is coming on their, uh, you know, on their radar screen. They're going to interview with him, um, but it just so. Who do you think is? How, how would the Harbaugh Herbert fit for you? How how do you think that would work, Dan? Well, Rich, I remember during my scouting days, um, watching and evaluating a really, really big, athletic, smart quarterback up in Palo Alto who was paired with a coach who believed in the physical run game and then only, you know, asking him to make those plays in those key moments with his athleticism and giving him a lot at the line of scrimmage where he could make checks and uh, get you into the right spot. And it worked out quite well. Um, so I, I would think that this, if he was going to draw up a quarterback that he would like to coach and work with, um, you know, it's uh, it's hard not to see that as a, a really, really good match there uh, with Herbert. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.